ready mate, how are we doing? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Nice, isn't it? It's alright mate, this is. Don't know what you've been missing, I tell you. I've had this for about three years now, like it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, what a tractor. It's about time you come and have a look and you know, yeah, cast yeah, yeah. your eye over it, see what you thought. It's a T5 140. Right. Dynamic command. Ah, now, dynamic I, command. Yeah, to have a go with a dynamic command. Nor had I before I'd had a go on this. Right. And How it's, you find that? it's a revelation. I've never even seen one, George. No, no. It's an impressive gearbox. It's 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 like halfway between a power shift and a CVT gearbox. Really? And you just, well you're gonna have to have a drop. Now you see, first thing off for me, I've as I said, never been in a T5 or the current version, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh not this setup here, but I know straight away I could drive this. Why? Because of lot I've always said is the way sort of New Holland have things laid out. Orange being for motion. Yep. Transmission, yep. forward and speed back, and whatever, and speed yep. and that. Yep. Yep. Black being for hydraulics, spills yep. and whatever. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that it's colour coded. It's colour coded and obviously yellow for PTO. So you could come in here and look at that and you could make it move, you could make it do, you know, everything 100%. you needed to. 100%. You know, you wouldn't be scratching your head, would you? No. And it, as I said, it's not a transmission I use, but I know I could I could sort this out yeah. just by that. Yeah. Because there's a lot of similarities, as in, like I said, because of the colour coordination. Yeah. But even with, if you hopped over from a different brand. My, or, yeah, you're different. You know. Brand, you know, yeah. It's just, if I told you that, listen, all you got to know yeah. is orange, orange is that, is the dry, black is that, yeah. and the other. You could do it. You could figure it out, yeah. You could figure it yeah, out, and that's, yeah. that's what I do like about these. Lots of room here, nice wide armrest. Everything you need on the Everything armrest as well. Everything you need, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, I dare say, don't know if I'm wrong, but you could get a spec higher than this. You can get the, the big screen, obviously, like a, probably an Intelliview 5 now, I should think. Okay. Big screen. Uh, the type of people that want this thing, they don't want all the fancy electronics. No. If they do, it's, it's available, you, you don't but it's not forced on. Yeah, you don't necessarily need it on a tractor this size. It, they tend to be jacks of all trades, don't they? You, th this you is know, exactly they right. They can do a bit of this, bit of that, and so, bit of the other. you've got a lovely transmission. Yep. So it makes your job and your day easy. Mm. But you've got manual spools. Yep. Less to like go that. wrong as well. Less right? to go yeah, wrong. Right. And people like that. They just feel yeah. reassured by that. Yeah. Now, the one thing that is very impressive and I know it's the design of the other you know, loader design and whatever, but you can see, George. Like, like I can see all that. That's not a big blank thing. Yeah, I can see you there. You can move. Go down near the front wheel, George. I can actually see you down there. Yeah, and right down there. Yeah. Now, normally, I was always used to loaders. As soon as you had a loader on, that was basically like a block right across. As in, you know, you couldn't you see couldn't anything. You couldn't see anything, could you? This one is, is That's something you used brilliant. to accept on you them did. old loaders, didn't you? Yeah, you did. You're just like, well, what if you got a loader on, you ain't going to see anything there anything. and anything there. <laughs> yeah. And this one, you can see there, down there, down the front wheel, in front of you. Brilliant. Let you fall off the brake. Oh, no, it's car coming. So did yeah, it, weren't, it wasn't jumpy then, was it? It like? wasn't at all, no. Another car coming. That's nice. That is good, isn't it? That is it's nice. good. So, I, I mean, to be able to offer, as you said, you know, a, a more simple, I don't want to say basic or lower spec, because it's not, but to give the people what they want, what they've been asking for, yeah. is something that's without all the sort of frills and all that, yeah. but it's with such a transmission. Technology buried in the almost, tractor and it's all thing. That's just like the perfect combination. Yeah. You know, if, if you had a few hundred acres and you wanted a versatile machine, that, like, you know, you could do in the morning, feed your cattle with yeah. your loader. Yeah. then go out, sp spread your fertilizer, or go drilling, or go plowing. Spraying, Spraying whatever, whatever subsoil. Then 
come back, bed your cattle down and yeah. get the whatever. And not have to put up with, yeah, well, I've got a basic, but I've still, you know, old legs hurt with a clutch, yeah. whatever, because that's the spec. No. You're not going to be you got, worn out in this, no, are you? It gives you, a, a, you know, creature comforts, but still without all the bells and whistles. Yeah. That is absolutely brilliant. And it, it's it's um, just nice for people to, the, yeah. to listen for yeah. once, isn't it? And yeah. then for them to have said, no, this is what the it's, customer wants. Yeah, we'll give it them. Yeah. I mean, that rate to stop on the load of work. Oh yeah, that's something else. Looking fantastic. Again, it's just making the operator's life easier. They're not going to be as tired at the end of the day, as stressed. You I know. don't care what anyone says, it does all add up. Mm. Oh, it does. You know, fatigue and that at the end of the day. And, you know. Fatigue, is it? The biggest thing with fatigue is mistakes happen. It is. It? Corners get cut. You know, we all know what happens then. I'm not worried. You have to think, well, what gear should I be in or whatever. Not, right? yeah. I can now concentrate on what's going on around me, what traffic's about. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's yeah, the yeah. nice thing about it. Yeah. You know, it makes a big difference. Again, it adds to the, the, another level of safety. I would have got this one right. Yeah, oh, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> it is as good as they've said it is. Yeah, it is. It really is. Seeing how smooth it transfers from forward to reverse. Right. So give it a go. You've got two options. You've got the, as you know, column mounted. Oh, we've got the column mounted. You do, don't you? Yeah. You can do it on the joystick. That, for you, you're the viewer, he didn't touch, didn't the, touch brakes, the brakes, the clutch or anything there. That was the tractor doing that. I haven't there. touched the brakes. I've literally just done that. Now, if I do it with the brakes, as you would do if you're on the load, you know what I mean? You come into it, you're in the heat, you're on the brakes like that, you stop, reverse, and you're away. Lovely. <laughs> you know? But how smooth is it with even. Yeah. I'll do it again without the do brakes, right? Nothing, look, watch, forward. And that is on its most aggressive setting. You got, <laughs> that's in C, isn't it? Yeah, well, no, it's in C. In and that's in that, yeah, yeah. that. That button there will change the aggressiveness. Change, yeah, yeah. yeah. But again, right. if, I, if I was doing it properly, as I said, on the brakes, as we said, we've done yeah. that junction, yeah. I could stop, tip I could tip my bucket, just literally flick it in reverse, Break get off. off. All right, let's, let's, up the, let's up the ante, give right. it a few revs. Maybe let's put it into B. Well, you we can leave it in C. We'll see what this thing's capable of. She's got another shift then. Yes, yeah, right, good. That was new brakes. <laughs> That right. is hard to beat. Go. Forward now. <laughs> That's brilliant. good, isn't it? That, that is, is good. That, that is, is good. good. I just, I, I, uh, I don't know. I just, uh, really Jeez. impressed. You were expecting, I, mean, I, I was expecting it to be right. good. Good. But it's, it's, it's exceeded my expectations. Tell you what, I'll, I'll say, like I always say, you know, we don't do this to sell machines. That's, that's the dealer's job, yeah, right? Yeah. But I'll tell you something now. If you are in the market, or going to be in the market, for a tractor that is of this sort of size, the size that they offer this transmission in, yeah. right? Try it. Just try it. Just try it, Even literally. Then, you know, you might turn around and go, oh, actually, I prefer this box, or I prefer... That's fine, but at least you can say hand on heart, well, I tried that. Yeah. But I guarantee you, you won't walk away and go, yeah, I didn't like that. No. You still may prefer your box, you know what I mean, that you've got currently, whatever, but you certainly won't go for them like that. You, yeah, you'll be lying if you said that was the bad box life, yeah. Mate, that definitely. is. And it's so versatile. Yeah. It, like I said, 
you know, like you said, something like, oh, I, I prefer still the clutch. Well, clutch. Yeah. Oh, I you prefer to use it. Well, do that. Yeah, you I can. prefer. I do, do that. It covers all the bases. All the options. I would say it's not our job to sell them, but this thing sells itself. It really does. That's what I'm it? saying. It yeah. does. Yeah. Um, and in a, in a really nice package as well. Mm. Mm. Really nice package. Do you know what? We do a lot of this, you know, these films where we go and, you know, try out different machinery and whatever. And listen, George and I, we won't just film anything. We won't just film anything because it's got to meet some criteria. Mm. We've got to like the manufacturer yeah. and what they produce. We've got to like the model that we want to try. And we've got to like the people that we're working with, that, yeah. you know, with, with the manufacturer. If you all those get ticked, then we'll look, look at, at a machine. We'll look whatever. at a machine. Yeah. So we always look at stuff. You no, know, we, we're looking forward to you know try out, and they've all been good. They've all been good. Yeah. Some better than others. Yeah. Well, every machine's got its plus points and its minus points, haven't they? You know. But to be impressed with the machine, mm. this is going to take some beating. Oh, it will. Yeah, yeah. And I would have thought no. So when we looked at the biggest one in their range, that was no. It's not going to be the biggest. <laughs> 140 horse yeah. T5. Well, right? we've said this for a good few years. There's a lot to be said for the little mid size, you know, little to mid size 140 horse, 150 yeah. horse tractor. They're still a very, very capable versatile. machine, you know. Very versatile. And this dynamic command transmission, oh, it I, just I, elevates it to another level. It honestly, does, really, just, doesn't it? Just if you get the opportunity to try one, try, try it. it. As I said, you, you know, you might not like it, but you might not, you can say you might not you've prefer tried it. it to yeah. your whatever you've currently got. But I guarantee you certainly won't go well. Yeah, you you will go away and go. Yeah, well, that's, that's an impressive say, bit of kit. Bit yeah, kit. so versatile, so versatile. But as I said, there we go. Mm. Um, we can tell you as much as we like. Mm, the easiest way is to try it yourself. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, enjoyed that. Mm. <laughs> Right, so we'll start with access to the cab. Yeah. Clear. I suppose it's a bit of a high first step. A lot of that is down to the oh, big boots. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, on some yeah. big boots, which does give it a chunky appearance. But I like that. You know, they're good, nice, grippy steps. Plenty wide enough. Fueling up, and blue, diesel, easy yeah. to get to. Nice little toolbox is there. there. Um, and this is all standard fit. This is what you'd expect from New Holland, to be fair. Yeah. I'm not shocked or surprised by anything and how they got things set out because I expect that. I'd be disappointed if they hadn't mm. got the another, stuff out. Another little um, interesting thing, hydraulic locking. Is it? Which I think, I, I mean, I've not, you know, it's, I think that's quite unusual on the front loader. Yeah. Okay, it makes the lot, operators life a lot easier. Does. Yeah. Swapping I, I, between machines. I, think it's, I always enjoy kicking that lever over, slipping, and have it got the back yeah, of your car. Doing, that's always yeah. nice. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, nice, yeah, so that's, that's taking that away, isn't yeah. it, you know? No, but that's little differences like that make a big, you know, make a big difference. Oh yeah, you yeah. Know. Again, pro productivity during the day. Simple that is in a bang. Yeah. You know, plug out like that, stand her up, stands down, gone. Where you Quick go? Is that? It's nice. It's like I say, it's a nice slimline loader in it, and it's. But it's nice and wide and high, so it yeah. doesn't obstruct your view. view this down. is what I'm saying. This is where normally, from here to here, you would have been blocked out. You can see anything. You can see down yeah. here, here, through there. The front, brilliant. Yeah. They're quite narrow gauge, but that is a, it's a, deep, though, isn't it? It's deep and a strong, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's a nice load of that. It's a nice load. <laughs> easy to get to, you ain't yep. got to get covered in crap and everything to get them out. Full cab access, we know we always don't jump out the other side and give all that, but at least you've got a lot of tractors now don't have this. Oh, you know, they don't no, have them. Side door and all that, door. yeah, I like to see that. There you go, there's your, your battery. battery there. That slides out, oh, holds on there. Brilliant. Easy, you got your, you know, your Getting well thought out, isn't it? Simple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Easy to do. Yeah.
I like these as well. These are a uh, yeah, yeah, a, a, a new design, I think. Yeah, and they look strong but flexible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Well, New Holland are big. You know, they have been really big when they've done the cab designs on not coming right out here. Yeah, and I'm sure to keep this down and keep tight. Down. So your view from there, you can actually see because if that's out here. Where you're actually the first point you can yeah, see is that here. If you bring here, it, yeah, if you bring you it can't in, see me, yeah. you can you're getting right tight to the track with your view. You yeah, know, good safety feature. Back end, LED light package up there. Yeah, cab filters. Yep. I've said this before. Lovely, neat back end on it now. Now, did you tell me? Was that right? That you said you had the uh, Dowsel, the DP7, the one off the TW. Yeah, the five fire DP7. You lifted seven that on, on the there. back of this. Didn't, didn't bother at all. But then again, it brings us back to this whole We've point. We've talked about it before, haven't we? Yeah. It's we've... 140 horsepower tractor. And you ever get we, that. in this day and age, we're all like, no, you've got to have 300 horse. Yeah, yeah. Why? This was, it, go back this 20, away 20 with 25 that flat. years ago, this was a set of big track. Yeah. This was bigger than a 15, slightly smaller than 25. Talk in between the two. Yeah, exactly. TWs. Yeah. Well, you know. So that's you the reality. That. You for, yeah, you, you do forget that. You do forget that. But it's. You know, and to have that again, it doesn't look out of place with a loader. It doesn't look too big for no, a loader. No, and it's 140 horsepower. But you know, I've seen some stuff rubbish on social media. You get, you know, where people sort of said, you know, oh well, yeah, but a loader tractor. You know, you're better off with a telly handler. I mean, what I you mean, absolutely not? Clock. I mean, it all depends on what, what you want to use it for. Now, here's an example. If you had, Both you know, a few hundred acres and some cap. Yeah. Right. So in the morning you can get up, you've got your load, as you said, she's, she'll get round the yards and whatever. Yep. And I'll tell you what, that goes up a fair way. Oh yeah, you get you'd six high. Six, six high, high yeah. right? Yep. Well, hang on a minute, unless you want to be stacked them seven or eight or whatever, right? You could go and do your cattle, then you could go, as you say, drilling or plowing or whatever you want to do, carton, corn carton, whatever, yep. right? And then you can come back, do your cattle, and you're done for the day, right? No, 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 I'd rather, I'd rather have a £120,000 telehandler just it's sit just there for a dozen hours work hour in the, the day and then I'll buy a £120,000 tractor yeah. to do all the other work. That's, oh, well, actually, hold on a minute, I've spent a quarter of a million pounds yeah. and I could have just Take spent that. half that and she's out. And it'll do exactly the from, same as a telehandler. Yep, as I say, from you know, basically dawn till dusk, Yeah. that's her earning its keep. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and I know it won't apply to everyone. everyone. We know that, but I'm just saying. To turn around and go, oh, you're better off with a tally hand. That yeah. is such a, a stupid comment. Yeah. But I've, I've heard it on heard it YouTube before. and all that, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know the sort of people that would come out with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we've yeah. Yeah, been there. Yeah. Um, so I think, look, let's say the versatility of this. Bang on. Yeah, it really is. Absolutely it really it. is. And as I said, it's nice though, again, you've gone up, you're not sub 100, you're 140 yeah. horse, but you still haven't had to, oh, here's all the bells and whistles you've got to have. Yeah. No, you can have manual spools you or whatever. Yeah. You, you don't have, have to have the big screen. Yeah. Have it if you want. Yeah. You don't have to have it. Mm. But I tell you what, whatever you have, you've got to have that transmission. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a given, that's a given. That transmission, you've got to have that go transmission. Go whatever you buy, like, yeah. If I gave you the choice that Monday, it can either go or stay, what would you have? I think it's got to stay, mate. It really has. <laughs> um, like I said, that transmission, that transmission is key, that just, it transforms the whole machine, it really does. It just makes, makes a good tractor, a, a, a great tractor, a, great, a phenomenal yeah. tractor, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. In summary, you know, uh, we love looking at, you know, various uh, tractors by different manufacturers and whatever, and they they're always, you know, bring something to the, to the party, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, occasionally, you get one that stands out, and this one does. That was it, yeah. And, and it stands out for being a nice package, but the, the the icing on the cake the cream on top yeah is that transmission, transmission without a doubt yeah so yeah i don't think you gathered that we quite like that yeah um yeah. yeah so anyway i hope you enjoyed that and i do hope that some of you get an opportunity to try one out yeah if you do yeah and that's always nice to hear your your thoughts on them mm. but yeah and I know everyone, some people have said, as I said before, they'll go, oh yeah, but Saunter had one of them years ago, this, they did that, that New Hollander copy. Listen, that's what happens. Every, somebody yeah. copied the internal combustion engine, yeah. right? It, it happens. Yeah. 
but it's what that that, that manufacturer then does with that concept yeah that package because uh, there have been times where manufacturers have copied a concept or developed a concept and it's got it completely wrong completely wrong yeah well new holland have developed that concept and they've got it back it's on hell of a package yeah it hell really of a is. package so anyway yeah until the next one do well ta-ta